What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today I've been using as a loot and location for the 23rd of June 2017. So this week he's located in the tower. So you want to spawn into the tower and head all the way left and you'll see him right in the corner of this balcony. Okay, so let's check out what he has this week. Okay, so we have a chest legacy engram costing 29 strange coins. Remember people, this will only give you that year one gear. So if you buy this expecting to get anything from year two, it just ain't going to happen and you're wasting the strange coins. So yes. For the titan, we have the Peregrine Greaves. These offering 350 defense, costing 13 strange coins. Offering intellect strength, a total of 128. With the legs you need or boots, you need 132 to be a tier 12 compatible. Airborne shoulder charge deals bonus damage, which is actually quite fun to use in PvP, taking people straight out of their supers. Uh, for the Hunter this week, we have the Celestial Nighthawk. Again, 350 defense, costing 13 strange coins. Intellect Discipline this time. This will, uh, in total, be 104. Uh, for helmets, you need 108 or above to be tier 12 compatible. Golden Gunfire is one shot with six times the damage while granting keyhole for over penetration. For the Warlock this week, we have the Heart of Praxic Fire. 350 defense, 13 strange coins. This offering intellect discipline. In total, I think that is 137. With chests, you need 144 or above to be tier 12 compatible. When radiance is active, increased agility and decreased ability cooldowns. Weapon of the week, we have the Monte Carlo, which is actually quite a decent auto rifle. Not many people use this within PvP, but it's actually quite fun to use. Definitely worth your time picking up if you don't already own it. And you have the strange coins spare. Uh, uh, exotic weapon bundles this week we have the Red Death and uh, Steel Witch which I'll show you guys on screen now and we have the Monte Carlo and Royal Flush which I'll also show you guys on screen now. These costing 30 strange coins and 25 silver dust. Now while we're actually here with Zer, um, something a lot of people are talking about which was uh, well stated in the Bungie update last night and a lot of people in my opinion are actually taking this the wrong way they really are now i'll show you guys on screen now it states live game transactions and it goes on to speak about destiny 2 and how it's rapidly approaching uh when we go down a little bit further we see it says uh, yep the snake faced bastard will still make his weekend appearances in a location chosen for him his will after all is not his own now a lot of people are taking that in my opinion the wrong way and saying it confirms that Zer is coming to Destiny 2 and he will be a weekly vendor like he is in Destiny 1. I think this is completely taken out of context I really do. All they're stating here is after August 1st which is the deadline for basically all things Destiny 1 if you want to earn them exclusive emblems for Destiny 2. Also being the expiry date where you can earn that Age of Triumph t-shirt. What they're merely stating is the things that will carry on going and therefore saying Zer will continue on coming to the tower even when Destiny 2 is released. And that's it. I mean Zer being in Destiny 2 is a massive massive deal. They wouldn't just drop a random little statement like that within the weekly update. Not in my opinion anyway. It's a massive massive deal. It really is. And I mean it doesn't even state that Zer will be returning to Destiny. And that's why I think a lot of people are taking it out of context. I really do. Like I said it merely means that he will still make an appearance week in, week out when Destiny 2 launches. And that is the end of that. Well, that's my opinion anyway. But what do you think about this? Let me know down below in that comment section. But guys, that is it for another video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks as always for stopping by and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. Get around